Here is Africa, the world's second largest continent, overflowing with abundant natural resources. 30% of the world's natural resources are found in Africa, ranging from gold, diamonds, uranium, platinum, and hydrosolar energy to gas and oil reserves. Additionally, Africa's land is highly fertile, making it suitable for agriculture. Despite all these riches, Africa is paradoxically the poorest continent with 40% of its population living in poverty. This poverty is often attributed to factors such as corruption, political instability, and hunger. Many believe that Western countries exploit Africa for their own gain contributing to mass-level corruption among African people. Geography also plays a significant role in Africa's poverty. It's undeniable that Western countries have played a substantial role in bringing Africa to its current circumstances. For centuries, Africa was part of the British and French empires, which exploited its natural resources for their benefit. During the 19th century, physical individuals from Africa were turned into slaves by European countries. The control over Africa has always been a struggle between Western power with the pursuit of Africa's diamonds and gold resources leading to the exploitation of thousands of African lives. Many were ruthlessly killed in the process, a reality depicted in Hollywood's Blood Diamond. The same pattern of exploitation is evident in contemporary incidents, such as Shell's actions in Nigeria. Corporations, like Cargill Chocolates, involved in making the world's largest food supply, have exploited African children. While it is true that Western powers have played a significant role in Africa's current situation, exploitation is not exclusive to Africa. The British Empire exploited the subcontinent in Singapore, yet these countries are in much better conditions today than Africa. And right here comes Africa's geographic challenges, crucial for any country or continent where the coastline plays a vital role. 80% of the world's trade happens through the ocean. The coastline refers to the land area that meets the sea. Now, Africa's coastline is extensive as it is surrounded by the sea on nearly every side. Unfortunately, the majority of Africa is not conducive to building ports, limiting its connection to trade. On the other hand, Europe, though smaller than Africa, boasts a coastline greater than Africa's. Hence, Europe controls 40% of the world's trade. Apart from the Nile River, there are no other significant open waterways in Africa that allow large cargo ships to navigate. This limitation has always made trade challenging. Another factor that has financially harmed Africa is maritime piracy, known as pirates, particularly in the Horn of Africa. This region is perhaps the most dangerous in the world, where pirates frequently attack oil tankers and other commercial ships passing through. Consequently, Djibouti has established many military bases to protect these routes. However, the lack of a powerful country in the rest of eastern Africa has made it a dangerous point for ships passing through, resulting in many countries avoiding the route. Moreover, Africa faces diverse climatic challenges. The northern side is hot and dry, with vast deserts like the Sahara, the world's hottest desert, and a predominantly Muslim population. In contrast, the southern side is lush green with jungles and natural resources, 